Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be majorly about you know fruits and vegetables that we always buy that you always find in my kitchen. So I'm taking you along with me food shopping. So basically this is just me at the supermarket and then on my way to the supermarket I got corn and coconut because it was raining and it was the perfect weather for such a treat. For most of these items, I already have a shopping list that I use every week. All I have to do is just go back to that list and just cross what we have at home. Sometimes we finish everything before I go shopping again and sometimes we still have some left. So make sure you always follow your shopping list so that you don't shop past yourself. <laughs> I have different types of shopping lists, but I know that I have a like a pantry list in my food timetable. It's at the back of the food timetable. That's something I always know as our essentials. So if you check the back of the food timetable, you are going to see what my pantry essentials are. If you do not have my food timetable, the download link will be in the description box below. It's just a short list that just reminds me of the essentials that I have to have at home. But today we're focusing on fruits and vegetables. One step forward, two steps backward, yeah. Time's about run now to use those big words, yeah. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Mm -hmm. Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? welcome back to my kitchen hope you are doing well today's video is just to run you guys through some of the things that I always buy in my kitchen and not just anything the vegetables the fruits the green things <laughs> the healthy things that I always buy sometimes I buy them for my family for enjoyment like for nutrition and sometimes I buy them because of my food photography so I will show you which ones I buy because we love and I'll show you the ones I buy because of like food photography making things look more appealing so if you're interested in seeing that keep watching you guys as a mommy of three <laughs> I will always include that in all my videos now as a mommy of three family of five and I have other people around with me there's a lot of food that gets eaten in this house and there's a lot of things I always have to have in the kitchen. Number one is bread. If you have kids, always have bread in any form. Sliced bread, whole bread, any kind of bread because if anyone is hungry, it is just easy to take a slice or two, two sticks, make a French toast or just put peanut butter on it or simple butter and the person is filled. It has become a meal. It can be a snack. So I always have bread. But today is not about everything I always have in my kitchen. Today is about the vegetables, the fruits that I find myself always, always reaching for when I go shopping. So I can't wait to share them with you. They might be similar to the things you pick. And if they're not similar, let me know something you always have, like vegetables that you always have. Like, number one, I can just say off the top of my head, we always have Uziza leaves for some reason. Uziza leaves are cheap. They're like 50 naira, it starts at 50 naira. 
and I always have those as I leave because there's a soup I'm cooking at least in a week and I always use those as I leave for a lot of my soups so that's one example there are some things that are seasonal that I might not get all the time for now it is mangoes we always have mangoes in the house now but instead of me talking about it let me show you guys these items okay if you're interested keep watching don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe right now and why I said the like button is you guys the more you click the like button the more YouTube helps my channel gain more visibility so help my channel we're trying to get to a big goal and also if you subscribed and you did not turn on the bell notification please turn on the bell notification that way whenever I upload a video you get notified like what's the point of subscribing if you not turn on the bell notification so please do that let's get into this video because CMC has been going on and on and on so we're back from the supermarket I got some blueberries we always have blueberries because I like them in different things like pancakes muffins and stuff like that and now in my smoothies I also got some strawberries and um, we like to use them as well pancakes and all that um, it wasn't so expensive it was like 1700 sharp I remember there was a time I didn't we used to buy strawberries because to me it was too expensive but now I love it <laughs> I can take it instead of something else and it's not like it's like delicious delicious it's just that it makes food look good it's good for photography and sometimes it can taste nice as an accompaniment corn is vegetable <laughs> so I got some corn so I got sweet corn and I got normal corn I don't know if you guys saw the video of me getting normal corn by the roadside and the difference is the normal corn which is this this is what I got you guys it doesn't even look as good as this but the normal corn I want to use for beans and then this one will use it like with chicken or grilled or something like it cooks very fast and it tastes different and it is sweet corn the other one is just regular corn so I always have this in the fridge always something I always have also is carrots you guys carrots for so many recipes if you watch my recipes you know that we use a lot of carrots so it's not really in season right now so the carrots I've been finding they're not really big and nice they are small but I will manage it this one is like three for five hundred naira something I always have is bell peppers it might be only green it might be only red or it might be only yellow but I always have bell peppers and I buy the ones from the supermarket because you know Foot photography or videography everything has to look perfect you get everything has to look perfect that's why I buy these ones these ones are more expensive than the ones by the roadside but the ones by the roadside they taste better than these ones so if you have to get get the ones by the roadside but like I said because of photography or videography we have to get the ones that look like prettier we always have apples either red or green and that's because the kids take them to school so one apple a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> my neighbor's dog is going at it so we have red and green apples gens are about to come on now because nepa is taking lights but let's quickly let's quickly do this so this is the most expensive thing I bought today we do not always have this but I got it today because I wanted them for a recipe and these are peaches they're so soft and they're so sweet so I cannot wait to use them but they are so expensive but for the recipe we'll do anything I always have sweet potatoes or regular what's it called Irish potatoes sweet potatoes are cheaper now so that's why we're using it um so I'm not going to use a Irish potato this week we're using you know sweet potatoes this is like 500 naira sweet potatoes we always have onion and the different varieties of onion i have like these like i call them like peach onion they have a different taste and then i have white onion they have a different taste also and then 
I have my regular like red normal onion that we all know. I got this one today. These small small onions. So I always have a bunch of onion because onion makes your food delicious. If you're not using onion in your cooking, what are you doing? <laughs> Something I always have is some sort of garnish. So this is uh, parsley um, that we'll be using this week for the recipes I'll be creating. And then I want to make garlic bread as well, so I'll use this. But I always have parsley at home or coriander, one of those two. So, and it's like 200 and something naira. So I always have this. You can check supermarkets around you well if it's in lagos i know lagos supermarkets sell it sha i don't know like let's say anywhere else apart from lagos or abuja but lagos and abuja you find stuff like that. i also always have mints lately because we use or we drink a lot we have a lot of drinks basically <laughs> not that we drink a lot we have a lot of drinks and mocktails and stuff and we always use mint to just you know garnish and add flavor like mint is so fragrant sometimes i just derive joy by opening it up and just inhaling the aroma like it just smells so good so yeah i always like to have mint we always have plantains even though plantains around here they are so expensive this particular plantain is what 1000 naira for this plantain you guys i remember when this plantain used to be like 200 naira or 500 naira now i can't believe i paid 1000 naira and we were even lucky because in another place they were offering us this plantain for like 2000 naira so i always like to have plantain you know good for the kids meals lunch they're eating rice put small plantain breakfast plantain and do all those kind of things so plantain is good but i want to use this particular plantain for um beans and corn so i want to make beans and corn because it's been a rainy day and it's been raining the past couple of days something we always have at home as well is lemon i use lemon for cleaning let's say beef chicken fish it helps to remove the you know the odor of fish or just for me i just feel like it's a disinfectant and then sometimes it looks good in the mocktails like i use it for chicken as well when i'm making fried chicken there's so many things i use lemons for so i always get them from the supermarket i also use a lot of lime if you guys notice we eat snail a lot in this house so we use lime for cleaning i majorly use lime for cleaning and then for um mostly for cleaning you guys and it's usually not expensive I use for cleaning and then sometimes for drinks it depends on drink um so that's what i use it for this one is like 300 naira's worth of limes another fruit i always have is kiwi this is my own special favorite my favorite you know when in nollywood they'll say favorite this is my favorite kiwi I usually buy only three <laughs> and the three will last me like for like a week or so I like to put it in my smoothies or I just like to eat it like that so these are kiwis because we're in the season of mangoes I like to get mangoes as well these ones are ripe it's just that they look green when you touch it like they're tender and once you open it now it will be very ripe inside these are perfect for smoothies and sometimes when I'm hungry, you know after breastfeeding I get really hungry so I just take one big mango and it is so filling. Over here we have beetroot. I wouldn't say beetroot is something we always have at home. I bought it today because I saw a smoothie recipe that I wanted to try and it was going to give a beautiful pink color so we're going to use our beetroot for smoothie. Something you actually always find in my fridge is a lettuce because we have some sort of salad during the week Maybe a coleslaw or just like lettuce in bread, toast, sandwich So you always find a lettuce. This one you can actually put in a bowl and put some water, preserve it for, for longer Another fruit I got today is pear because I always love pears. 
so I got about four. These ones are for me. If the kids want it as well, they can have it. But this is mommy's fruit. Always, always have this. We always do spring onions, you guys. In most of my recipes, you see spring onion. It is perfect for garnishing. It has an amazing flavor. I always keep it in the fridge and it can be inexpensive. Sometimes it's like 200 now for this bunch, sometimes 300 now. But you guys, this one, see, this one is not even up to 200 now. This is like 195. So, always great for um, garnishing. This is my vegetable for the week. So, I have scent leaf because I'm about to make pepper soup. And then I have uziza leaves. I always have uziza leaves for like any kind of soup. I like to put it inside so this is like 100 naira's worth and then 100 naira worth of uh, scent leaves uh, something else i also bought today because of the corn is ube <laughs> i just love ube whenever i see it so we're going to i think i'm probably going to put this in the air fryer i've never air fried my ube before so i'll probably put it in the air fryer or i'll put it in the pot and just boil it as per usual i can't wait to have this like they're so delicious something else i bought is a pumpkin and i bought it because we're about to make pumpkin soup if you've never made pumpkin soup what are you doing you know what i'm going to share a pumpkin soup recipe or give you something that will teach you how to make the soup i'm about to make so we're having this maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow so that's why I got the pumpkin. We don't always have orange at home. We typically have apples, but I saw these oranges and I really wanted them. These are not oranges, these are like clementines. So it's just great for snacking really. And I've been enjoying it lately. So once I saw it, I just bought it. I bought it last time I went food shopping and I'm buying it again now. It's a date, a fruit. I don't know you guys, is this a fruit? I got dates. Because I want to use it for something. So let me know. It's a date, a fruit. I believe this is a fruit. <laughs> you use this for seasoning, like pepper soup. That's why I want that's why I bought it. I want to use it for my pepper soup tonight. So it is called Uyayak. Um and I use it for a couple of recipes, majorly pepper soup based recipes. So and it's very fragrant and very delicious. You can use it for a long time. I'm just going to cut like a bit of it and use it and then keep it for later. The last thing I bought is flaxseed. I have never bought flaxseed before. This is my first time, but I watched a documentary about flaxseed a few days ago and I was blown away. So I decided to buy it today. Like I saw all the amazing things people did with flaxseed. So I cannot wait to give it a try. This thing is very powerful in this small bag, but it is so useful. Like there's flaxseed oil. There are some recipes that you can try with flaxseed. And I was so surprised to see it in the supermarket. I just grabbed it immediately. If you've cooked with flaxseed or you use it for something, let me know in the comment section. Some people probably use it for smoothies. Last item, pepper flakes. Will pepper be considered a fruit? <laughs> it's a vegetable. <laughs> so we have pepper flakes. The one I have, I've run out of it. I don't really like the color of this one, but I didn't want to go without having like chili flakes. It looks good in recipes, tastes good sometimes. And I just like to have have it around for food styling so this is everything i bought today for my food shopping so let me know if we have things in common or things that you feel like you buy every week that you would like me to try thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye 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 bye, bye. <laughs>